Shut up and sit down. What is up, everybody? Welcome to episode 22 of the SDS Guys. I'm Jeremy. I'm Scott. Hey, hey, it's Larry. And we are missing fellow Patreon partner, Nate. Nate, this podcast for you. Hi, Nate. Shout out to Nate, who's too busy playing the new Dragon Ball Z game to come yeah. hang out. Yeah, Nate. Yeah. You know it's bad when he found out that uh, like a place was doing like the midnight release, but they're going off of the the East Coast, the East Coast midnight. Time, yeah. Yeah. So it was like nine o'clock, and he sends me a picture. He's like, "I couldn't wait till tomorrow, so I bought it early." <laughs> it's like, dude, I'll, it's coming well, in the mail. Well, <laughs> like, to, well, that that picture that he sent though, like, yeah. so the, the thing that was ridiculous about that is, I'm surprised how many people were actually in line. Like, dude, it looked like a Black, a Black Friday line. Yeah, that yeah. is it's huge. Apparently, so they have the day one version of the game and like a special edition right most places that have like the physical copies sold out of everything but like the standard version like when was the last time you saw a video game sell out of like almost all their copies of a game that's oh. crazy what what game is it what's it's, it called uh so it's uh dragon ball fighters with the z is the the end right so dragon ball fighters Z after dragon ball z um, just released today, which is also weird. They use the international release date, not the U.S. one for the game. So it's coming out on a Friday. Well, I think that's too, I think that's good because maybe it's like, maybe it's a stress test for their servers to yeah. make sure that they, all, all the traffic can, can handle that. Because I know yeah. they they had the beta open for a couple of days, and I know you and Nate yeah. uh, jumped on the beta for a few we days. did. So um, for anybody out there who's a Dragon Ball Z fan, which I think everyone on this podcast is at some point larry you're shaking your I head i've so. never watched any so, second of dragon okay Ball Z. so everybody on the podcast but larry is a fan of it um go pick up the game i i did get a chance to to play the beta i have not received my copy because i'm a normal human being and i'm gonna wait for it to come to me in the mail like well, normal you, people you can't beat that 20 percent off that pre-order from amazon like, no exactly <laughs> yeah get the 20 percent off and, and go so uh, i did get to play the beta and and uh, got my ass kicked a lot online because uh, one drawback to fighting games is i'm not very good at them uh so it's awesome super fast pace i highly recommend it to everybody um, and yeah, it has absorbed Nate to the point where he is not here today. Now, well, well also to that point though, too, so that way we can let our, <laughs> our listening audience know, uh, we're actually going to be uh, doing a full review of that game as well. And, and so, uh, Scott, yes. me and Nate are going to be jumping online later today to, to, to one, play, play some matches and yeah, see, play some matches, see who's really King of the Hill. Yeah. We'll do some King of the Hill stuff here and, uh, um, we'll all, uh, throw on the, the game capture software there and throw up anything and, uh. On that, I'm actually, I think what I'm going to do for this one, I did it for the Assassin's Creed Origins video too, is I'm going to throw up, it'll have my gamer tag for, for PSN on there. So awesome. anybody, cool. and I think I can add your guys' info on it as well. So Sweet. for anybody that wants to play with us, um, those tags will be out there. Hit me up and let me, you know, say, hey, let's let's play a match. You can probably kick my ass. Well, like I said, well even if we can't do that, I'll, I'll make sure to like I said, uh, to put the gamer tags in the in, in the description of the video so yeah. that way cool if so. you're on psn definitely hit us up yeah and if you have the, the game i will gladly play a match with you uh again if you're any decent yeah. if you suck games, please have scott so yeah. you can feel good about himself so, yeah so maybe i can try to beat you but most likely you're gonna end up beating me i still love fighting games i just i am not good at them it's okay. kind of it's kind of frustrating though, isn't yeah. it? Like I don't I don't play a whole lot of games, but I was playing Injustice, and I told you the other day I was playing Injustice online, and I, I started off uh, I started off doing really good, right? I think the the server was was giving me some layups and gave me all the easy people, but after I ran through them and and was doing awesome, feeling really good about myself, it started hitting me with the maxed out characters, and those guys just kicked my butt yeah. all over town. It, I I think that's the the game. It's like I'm gonna throw you a couple easy ones to get you hooked to be like yeah, yeah. Exactly and that's like I like I legitimately like, have a chance at this. Yeah. yeah, it's like they get your expectations up just so you can have some random you know twelve year old online just smash them into the ground. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even think about the fact that they're probably kids. Yeah. Damn, the, there's my ego. Yeah. yeah the, the 12 year old virtual throat punch <laughs> yeah it's like um, but i'm really happy you guys are doing a review um i think one of our main goals for 2018 is to get more into gaming uh, yes. on our channel right 
Um, so, so that's awesome. It's, it's cool that we're going to get more gaming videos. Um, I know Scott and I want to start trying to do some streaming on Twitch. Yeah, um, which I might do our matches yeah. if you on do, Twitch. I would yes. say go post something up yes, on, I'll uh, throw on Twitter and, and Instagram. Yes, yeah, so, well, I know this probably won't be up by then, yeah. uh, but it's It's, a, it's an, an outstanding eye. request, right? Yeah. Like if you see us Keep an eye it. out on our Twitter because I will throw something out there saying, hey, going on this game live now, and uh, I will you know link that to twitch and have it streamed directly for everybody yeah, that awesome. would be that would be rad i'll even go check it out man turn on your twitter notifications kids yes yes, yes. let us know because we will be we'll be shooting stuff out now like i said that's been an exciting part of this week another exciting part of this week was uh me and larry actually just got back from hollywood yeah so i heard the podcast unfortunately you guys only had two tickets to the premiere so yeah. um coming into it how was it uh, we had like the whole weekend was just awesome, right? I think we recapped most of it on episode 21 of the podcast, which we recorded on Monday, right? So it's kind of weird. It's Friday. It's like double podcast. Double week. podcast. Double it feels like yeah. we just did this. But anyway, we have so for, much to talk about. For you. For you. <laughs> yeah. Um, we had a really good time. Uh, we met up with some people from the Funko board, uh, at Mel's Diner and had, uh, had a quick lunch dinner. So, so we wouldn't be hungry since we would be in the movie theater the, the rest of the night um so that was awesome jeremy got to meet a couple people um a couple people that were in the movie like hughes uh snack daddy um he was there uh, a couple other uh, funko hall of famers were there so uh, this was jeremy's first funko event so he was able to to, to meet some other funko collectors and uh, right like uh, the tagline on the movie was come for the toys stay for the people or something like no. that and that and that's totally the case like i said yep. it's like I said, it was my first event and like i said just sitting down at dinner and actually just having conversations with people like i said some of the friendliest people like i said that you'll ever meet in the entire world so yeah well it's gonna be awesome going somewhere where you have a group of people together with like a that common purpose you don't know any of them but when you show up it's like Oh, hey, you're here for that same thing, too? Like, yeah. all right, did we just come become best friends? Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what yeah. it is. Like, everybody always talks about how, like, the culture at a Comic-Con is fun. Like, right, you, if you're standing in line, just turn around and talk to the person. Chances are you share something in common. Any Funko event is like that times 100 because you have that direct connection of Pops right. or, or Dorge. And stuff this is a collection. Like, like we share the uh, knack for collecting yeah, something. Exactly. It's, well, it's a laser-like focus on, like I said, a specific product line. Like I said, mm -hmm. it's just... Yep. Well, that, like I said, just, uh, like I said, the... It's the one thing well, I said that what blows my mind is like I said we live in the 21st century like I said in the year 2018 now and like I said message boards have been kind of a, a, a dying thing in the past and it's 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 crazy to think that like I said the Funko message board yeah, right. is something that's still alive and thriving that so that community that's there yeah. like I said it's it's that single thread that kind of holds everyone together but like I said but they've held on to that that basically is they've created friendships and fa and families from it like I said it's it's crazy it's yeah, awesome for sure one of the um yeah, one of the things I like most, like, right, we sat down at, at the table to eat, and uh, one of my friends, Jason, who I've met a couple times, uh, who lives in Las Vegas, was there. Um, so we sat by him, but he was sitting there talking to some other dude I had never met. Um, they were talking for a minute, you know, we were kind of in the conversation, but we didn't actually get introduced for, you know, 10, 15 minutes in, into into talking. Um, and then the dude's like, hey, yeah, my, oh, my name's Steve. Um, I'm Case on the boards. I'm like, wait a second. Like, I, I know that name. Um, I'm like, two years ago, did you sell me a Freddie Martian? And we're like... Yeah, I think I did. So like this dude actually like sold me my number one favorite pop of all time. Um, just happened to be sitting down next to him at, at dinner. Like it was, it was pretty awesome. cool. Yeah. yeah. So well, like you know people you don't even realize you know. The hard right. part is like getting out of your comfort zone and actually saying hi to these people. Oh. Um, uh, same thing. Like once we were in line for the movie, um, we sat down next to this guy. Like we had talked to him a little bit in line, yeah. him and his wife. Um, but then like, I, you know, it was like two hours before the movie started. I was getting out my phone, scrolling through Instagram, like Jeremy's looking at my phone, right? Cause you're we looking at the, you know, basically the pictures that everybody else at the same event was posting. And all of a sudden we get to a picture of the dude sitting next to us. And I'm like, me and Jeremy just looked at each other like, wait a second, it's that guy. <laughs> and so I turned to him and I'm like, well, okay, it's you. And it's like, oh crap. Like we actually knew, kind of knew each other online, right? We followed each other on Instagram and like, because I didn't bother to introduce myself, like we didn't quite have that connection. But after that, like best friends yeah. we talked to the dude for like a solid 30 minutes to an hour as we were sitting there waiting for the movie oh, yeah. turns out he lives in uh he lives in tucson yeah oh so nice he's so kinda, he's not even that far yeah, away he's kind of local um i think it's angry koala something like that so if you happen to listen to the podcast dude shout out to you bro no it was it was it was awesome like i said this the, the, the people there were amazing like i said the, the organization of the event and honestly like i said just the 
the the selfie from like I said, I'm not a selfie person by by any stretch of the imagination. I, I saw you posted. I think what what I consider to be your first posted selfie. I I don't know. I if, have I, I have a have couple. you done before? I have, okay. I have I have a couple. Um, Jeremy was blowing up his personal Instagram. Yeah, this I, weekend. I know. Yeah. I saw. Yeah, normal. So, well, so, you know, I'm not like the social media person, like by any stretch of the imagination. So, Jeremy, you're less active than me, and I thought I was yeah. bad. Yeah, you know, but it's it's circumstantial, right? When you're out somewhere and you're doing something cool, like, then I'm, I'm show down, everybody. Then yeah. I'm down for posting some pictures. Yeah. If I'm just sitting on my couch, like you don't want to see that. You but. don't want to take pictures of your food and let everyone know what crap you're eating, right? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Unless it's chicken waffles from Roscoe's, no. Yeah. That or you know, you know, looking at you know different pictures online and like, oh, you know, you know that ten dollar item that you can't afford. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. right. Um, but when you're when you're walking around and you're seeing cool stuff, like you, like we did when you're walking down Sunset Boulevard, um, like it was cool, man. Like there's even pictures of me and Jeremy on a rogue couch that we found abandoned on the side of the road that haven't been posted yet. Those are still in the archives. Yeah. and that's how Larry and Jeremy got bed bugs. Yeah, yeah I know. That's, I showed my wife, and she's like. Why the hell did you do that? Like, well, well, see, I, that's, I had the, how, that's I had, how you get an infestation. Yeah, I, I had the foresight not to show my wife because I know, <laughs> I know what the reaction would be. <laughs> well, yeah, they're gonna. I was pr- I was very proud of the velvet purple couch, man. Like it's, a, it's well, a I'm not saying it's not. A, I'm, I, I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad picture, but you just. If I see a random couch out on the side of the road, well, maybe don't sit in it. That was all me too. <laughs> well, I'm like Jeremy, come over here. You're taking my picture right now. <laughs> well, and then I was telling Larry, I'm like, okay, you know what? We're not we're not gonna post this now. I'm like, because you know what? We're gonna get artistic in this. Yeah. We're gonna throw it into Photoshop, make it black and white, and then bring out the only color of the couch because since it was purple, amazing. Larry, Larry's showing Scott right now. Check, oh. check that out, dude. <laughs> right, trash pile. Beautiful now, purple couch. Now, so we're gonna have to post. We are gonna have to post this picture. But I'm actually more curious about the weird lounger red chair in the background. Yeah, yeah I saw that. Like, so this was the one weird thing about like going down in hall. And, and, how many like so, pieces of furniture were are yeah, in this picture? So, so <laughs> when you're walking down like in between like the side streets, between like uh, Hollywood Boulevard and Sunset, there were so many random like '70s era couches. Yeah. Like there was couch frames, like pieces of furniture, like a ton of seventy era stuff. Um, like some walk- was beat to hell, some wasn't. Like this couch was in this couch I bothered to sit on was in okay shape. Yeah, it's, it's like, an it okay scary. Yeah. You're right, I'm sure it had just, something growing on. So it. I'm counting like there, like there's at least three couches, a chair, and that looks like a mattress, and then a broken like <laughs> entertainment center. Yeah, we saw. Like we saw more couches on the side of the road than a, we saw mattresses. Oh, and a table. More mattresses. Like, like, I, mean. I need to see this picture one more time. Even we're though gonna, I took it. Yeah. We're gonna have to post this because I, I think I, we I should make more... this. I think we should make this episode thumbnail. Oh, for God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, episode thumbnail for that oh, one. We talked about it enough, and I have so many questions oh, about God. what's in the background of the picture. It's gonna be the thumbnail. I, I, I think that needs to be the episode <laughs> thumbnail because I think that would be amazing. Because that way our, our audience out there, because we've talked about this for now for two minutes straight. I can, was can like, see like what, what the what weirdness picture are they talking about. This, is in this picture. Fine. <laughs> for, the good, for the good of the podcast. Hey, I've had my I know. ugly mug as a thumbnail before, too. It's somebody else's damn turn. Fine. Um, what the hell were we talking about? The movie. The movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So... The, so the, it was at the Chinese Theater, right? It was at the TCL Chinese Theater, world famous with world the famous. handprints in the cement, right on right on uh, Hollywood Boulevard with the stars, Walk of Fame stars uh, out front. Le- legit location, man. So the question, I guess, coming through here, and I, I let's see. So I know there's a red carpet. Did you guys get to walk like the cool red carpet, or did they were they, did they shuffle you guys on like no, you're not fucking special, just get out of here? There was kind of thing. it was the cool red carpet. Yeah, there was, nice. there was only the, one red carpet. Yeah, yeah it, one it way was in. The was, red was there people paparazzi, Which, or did they just ignore you when you walked in? Uh, there were a couple people taking pictures. It wasn't yeah. overwhelming. Right? Well, I, I think it was more people like like tourists, like like in Hollywood, trying to figure out like what's going on. Like yeah. like oh, movie premiere. There's, I see red, and like, so yeah. the, let's see, let's see what that we'll, we'll, let's see what that's about. Um, yeah, no, that's where my famous selfie came from. Was I'm like, I'm like, hey, red carpet. Yeah, you had to take the red carpet selfie. Yeah, yeah. took, well, that's, took, took a shoofy, a shoofy, a shoofy. Yeah, yeah. Take a picture of your shoes on the red carpet yeah. to prove that you were standing on the red carpet. I guess so. I done. Mean, I would have done the same thing. Yep. To be honest, done. Now, like, kind of getting to the actual like movie aspect of it. Like I said, so we walk in, we get our tickets. We have no idea where we're going. So we, we basically have our ticket. We're looking at it. I'm like, okay, let's, right. It's got a seat number on it. It's got it. a seat number doesn't on it. Doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean on it. It's like t- a two thirteen. Yeah. Of course. Like I said, what, what, what does that mean? Yeah. What does that mean? So, yeah. well, evidently that means you're in the very, very front yeah. row of the Chinese theater. Yep. 
front so row were, seats like, at a Hollywood movie. You were, right. you were like in the seats that everyone like avoids like a plague in a regular theater. Typically, yeah, yes. typically yeah. yes. Um, so it was really cool just because like I said you had Brian Mariotti come out like and, and, and talk to the audience along with the director as well. Uh, yeah, so of, we had we had great seats for that. Yeah. Okay seats for actual movie enjoying experience. Right. Like it wasn't too bad. Well, even Brian was saying that too. Like I said, we were, we got to see kind of like the director's cut of the right. movie because it actually isn't the final version of the movie. If you're not familiar with this Funko movie, it is called Making Fun: The Story of Funko. Um, but yeah, like Jeremy said, director's cut. They uh, talked about it at the end. They they don't know when the, the official movie is coming out or where. Uh, but as soon as we get those details, we'll, we'll post it up so you guys can check that out too. Because uh, it was a really fun movie. It's it's got a lot of the history of Funko. Uh, right, it starts with the the founder Mike Becker and and uh, kind of ha- the early days when they only had four employees, and then the transition from Mike selling it to Bri- Brian Mariotti, how that all went down, uh, the first Funko Fun days, um, and then they go around and talk to a bunch of other Funko fanatics, how they came up with the name Freddie Funko. It's it's a great great oh. uh, history lesson in, in in this awesome company, and then um, the bonus really was was all the fan stories and how Funko yeah. impacted their lives. Um, and how how we've you know all worked together to build this really awesome community. No, oh, yeah, the the, cool. the individual story aspect that Larry was yeah. talking about, like I so said, that was really cool because like I said they focus on, I said like I said a few different individual collectors, and then they, they basically tell their their individual story. Um, like, like I said, this one, like I said this one uh, guy, he works basically with like teens and stuff, and like it's sort of, like troubled teens, and so his, his basically story started with like, hey, you know what, I couldn't take pictures of all my adventures with these teens because it'd be weird taking pictures of you know of children of yeah. children. Yeah. That aren't yeah. yours. Um, so he basically he, he took uh, one of his. I think was it. What, it's it was like a mini wobbler. His mini wobbler. Yeah. yeah. So he took his mini wobbler. So his mini uh, wacky wobbler out with him and basically posted him in, with his different adventures. And so that's kind of what got him going. And he still works with like such tro- troubled youth to this day. Like just kind of seeing different aspects of people's lives and how that's basically impacted them. Like I said, it was really really cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. Um, yeah. Like I met him actually at. Uh, San Diego Comic Con 2015, working working the Funko booth. His name's Bo. Uh, good dude. I didn't know all that about him. I just knew, hey, this guy who's friends with Funko was working the booth. He was on the board. I know I'm that like, guy. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Th- dude, that was the best part. Yeah. Like, like I, I, there's at least half a dozen people who who I've I've met and at least talked to a little bit. Like, and honestly, there's at least like almost that many that Jeremy had met just from this past weekend. Yeah. Um. So it's kind of cool to see people you know up on the movie screen, the movie. even if it's yeah. not you. You know, you can totally relate to them, and and you kind of yeah. have that same connection. Now, after like I said, so we got to see the movie. Like I said, the movie was was, was really really good. Yeah. good. Like I said, being the director's cut, like I said, it's going to be probably a little bit shorter than than what it was. Like I said it was, it was uh, a, a little bit long, um, but that's just because like I said, it had basically everything in there. It's like yeah. it's the director's cut of the of the film. Um, so midway through the film, like I said, or like I said, midway through the film, like I said we're, we're 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 looking up and we're getting and then I think well, no it was actually right before the film started uh, so we got basically a spoiler alert actually on oh, Funko's yeah. uh, Facebook page yeah. uh, as far as like what they were specifically uh, they, gonna give out at the end yeah of the they movie. posted a, a contest right comment like share or whatever and uh, you can get you one can of win them. a director Freddie Funko from the Making Fun <laughs> premiere so like oh I'm probably they, getting one of those right well that's uh, cool too because I to be I everyone go on to our YouTube channel, because I think Jeremy did the unboxing yeah. for yep. what can, you guys got yep. there, you right? You can check out that Freddy plus the other couple really awesome items um, that were thrown in that, that box a, of fun. Yeah, that was a really cool box that they gave. Yeah, like, so there uh, was the a, stuff that they had. There was a commemorative ticket in there. And that was like actually really cool. Like I said, you had like, the pin set. Well, and honestly, like I said the, the package, like I said, I'm that box is awesome. a fan for packaging. Yeah, the box is awesome. awesome. I'm a fan for packaging. But so the bo- besides the box being awesome, the pins were in like a movie reel tin, like yeah. How awesome is that? And then there was like a like a gold challenge coin in there as well. It's pretty cool. Uh, my favorite is the Freddy Walk of Fame pin. Yeah, uh, it's super awesome. Like the little Freddy little star, star on the, the yeah. Star. Well, and then probably one of the coolest things that we we, we got um, actually wasn't pictured in the in the unboxing video. Um, was like I said, so when me and Larry were walking in, I said they had a couple like posters hanging up yeah. of like the the actual like movie poster from Making Fun. Well, we first we were actually checking them out uh, earlier that day outside the Chinese theater when Mike Becker came up and was like, "Hey, cool shirt, uh, right?" We were we were gonna go. I was turning the corner to take a picture of the poster of the of the movie uh, poster up right? at the theater. It was really cool. I'm like, "Hey, Funko poster, this is awesome." Uh, but yeah, when we walked out along with the box fun, we each got a we each got a movie poster. Yeah, so yeah, that was that was awesome. So too. is that going in a frame and going up somewhere? Yeah, yes. we're, we're taking. 
taking a trip to Ikea next week. You want to come? <laughs> <laughs> Get some meatballs. We and work right by it. We can just go frames. on a lunch one day. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we need some brain. I actually, I actually, they shorted me a couple of parts on one of the, uh, a shelf that I bought. So, yeah, I actually have to go. Awesome. Awesome. See? SDS guys, go to Ikea. Yeah. Next week's topic. <laughs> Scott gets lost. Scott gets lost in Ikea and gets gorged on meatballs. <laughs> And lichenberry sauce. Hey, you know what? That that wouldn't be a bad way to go, to be honest. Could be worse. Yeah. The whole te- well, thing. Technically, I said, you could live in an Ikea. I you said, could. You have plenty of places to sleep, plenty of places to sit. They even have some TVs in there. So, like I said, you can play kids' some movies usually. Like, I, I mean, th- there could be worse TV to watch. Exactly. Yeah, right. You could live in Ikea. Yeah. Is it- uh, well, in, fact, in fact, actually, I think that would off. solve Hollywood's homeless problem. Yeah. <laughs> the hot dogs are like a dollar for like a hot dog and a drink, like dollar, dollar fifty, something like that. You get like two hot dogs and a drink. Like that's pretty cheap to live on. So after the movie premiere, like I said, because we ate earlier in the day. So we ate around like three o'clock. Yeah. So L- Larry knows where I'm going with the story. Yeah, I forgot about this part. <laughs> uh, so it's like by the time we get out and everything else, it's almost midnight. Yeah. Um, it was midnight when we got back to the hotel, yeah. but we're like, man, I'm hungry still. Yeah, so I'm hungry. So we were looking on, on our phone like, hey, what's going to be open at midnight? And so we, we find this like this Mexican restaurant. And I said, okay, hey, let, hey let's just go there. And we're like, perfect. We start our, get, get out of the hotel. And then we notice across the street like, hey, there's a there's a, a food truck across the street, a Mexican food truck across the street. So rather than walking like said, the half mile it was to the, the Mexican restaurant, hey, let's just, there's a couple people outside the, this food truck. It must be. Yeah, so there's so a little family and another dude. Yeah. I'm like, it's at so, midnight. Like, yeah. it's got to be good. Yeah. All right. You guys decided just the, the random food truck on Hollywood Boulevard would yeah. be the best place so, to eat. But here, here's the thing. So here was the, kind of. It's on La Brea between Hollywood and Sunset. So, so, oh, yeah. even better. It wasn't actually on the main oh, drag. Well, yeah. So but here's the thing, though. So considering that it was our second day and we're going to be going home the next day, I was willing to take that chance. If I would have eaten, I said, I don't think if you're going to shit your so, pants on the drive home. Yeah. From I really think that's more risky. But <laughs> yeah, I was like, but, but I don't Sunday, want it in 12 hours when I'm driving for yeah. six hours straight. Yeah. When that case of <laughs> diarrhea hits me, like I, I would prefer it like at the hotel, at least where I have a toilet. I can use. <laughs> well, I, I preferred, like I said, it was better, you know, not, not to shit my pants in the, on the red carpet and make it a brown carpet. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting at the theater, like, oh god! Rather than uh, no, you're we gonna were, have to, you're gonna have to dry clean these seats. We were fine. Yeah. We we're perfectly good. I got the, I got the carne asada tacos. Jeremy got a carne asada burrito minus guacamole because it I was, don't want to die. Yeah. It was fine, um, except <laughs> except we got the gringo special. <laughs> like, they saw two white guys walking up at midnight and were like. I bet they like spicy foods. <laughs> oh. These were the most spicy. Like, it wasn't the meat. There was some type of sauce on it. It was the most spicy street tacos I have ever had in my, my life. My mouth was on fire. Well, and here's the thing. So, Scott, you can attest to this. I love spicy foods. Well, you and I eat ghost pepper jerky. Yeah. So, yeah. Except, <laughs> so This was worse. So, I can, I, can, I can eat. I said I eat, you know, ghost pepper stuff. Like I said, I, I can handle spicy. When I say this thing was spicy... This thing was insanely spicy <laughs> for a burrito. Yeah. Uh, Where like awesome. I, I, we, so so they did. They were like, "We're gonna get these guys." I feel like that was the case, feel, right? They're yeah. two, two, two tourists, super late. The, the late be like, we're never gonna see them again. Yeah, so. we're never gonna see these guys again. Let's put the special sauce on there. Yeah, yeah. let's, let's see them, what happens. Let's give them the Gringo yeah. special. We got totally got the Gringo oh. special. They, they, what they wanted to see is they wanted to see a grown white man cry. Oh yeah, it was. <laughs> it was close, man. I, I teared up a little bit halfway through that second taco, but you know what? I was a champ. I was a champ, and I finished ninety nine percent of those three tacos. Yeah. I tapped out like with one bite left. Like I'm done. I can't I just do another. Couldn't do it, man. I'm out. So we uh, so well we needed something to drink, obviously. So we didn't. So we got our burritos. Like, hey, let's get them to go. And then so like let's let's head over to the Seven Eleven. Yeah. And so the Seven Eleven. Did you get a Slurpee? It was right around the corner. No, I didn't get a Slurpee. Actually, I probably should. It's have. probably smart. That's yeah. probably that's probably I was a, say a smart ice. Idea. We needed yeah. you. Yeah. So for but for some reason I'm like you know what it sounds good I'm like I want to like a like a lemonade but they only had like one liter bottles yeah. and then Larry he wanted a Gatorade but they only had like the bigger bottles yeah. and so. It's glad that we had the bigger bottles. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's chugging it out. Oh yeah, god, yeah. we would we would have made fire. An, we would have made another trip yeah. out, man. Because yeah, like we 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 killed those drinks. Oh, it was <laughs> it, it was so spicy. Uh, it was ridiculous. I could see through time. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm crying. <laughs> no, it was, I don't think I have this much sweat in me. Yeah, it was it was uh, it was special. 
<laughs> you know, it's when it's gets spicy when the rest of your body, your body itself starts crying, like where you sweat right. out of places you didn't know you could sweat from. Yeah. You're like, my entire body is crying because this is so hot. It was it was pretty bad, but you know we survived. And continuing with the STS Guys Food Podcast that I guess we started last week, uh, we made one more awesome pit stop on the way home. Um, Jeremy had the the insanely awesome idea to sub it, uh, ba- Big Boy. Yeah, Ooh. Bob's Big Boy. We got. Bob's Big Boy. Like one of the only places in the West Coast that still has Big Boy. I yeah. can't remember the last time I've at, been at a Big Boy, if ever. Well, and the reason I wanted to stop there is because I said part of the the, the story of, of Funko was like the kind of how they got their start is like basically they got their license to basically make the Big Boy. Yep. That was so, the first Funko item was, was a Big Boy Wobbler. Yeah, it was a Big oh. Boy Wobbler. So I'm like, okay. It was appropriate. Yeah, it was appropriate. I'm like, you know what? There's a That's the perfect way to kind of end the journey. I'm like, and it was basically an hour and a half outside of LA. Yeah. So I'm like, so it was just perfect. close see, enough yeah. to where now I always thought there was only one and it was the one off the I 10, but it, you guys are telling me that there was like multiple of them, right? Oh like, yeah. There's a ton of yeah, them. Like I was, we were in the, we were in the car pulling out of the parking lot and I was trying to bring it up on my phone and I couldn't do it. I searched big boy and like 10 of them popped up and I couldn't find this one out there on the 10. So I, I had to tag in Jeremy. I'm like, dude, I, I'm putting my phone down. We just got to drive and get out of here. And, uh, it took Jeremy a minute, but he was able to find it. Like he said, 90 mm-hmm. minutes out, got, you know, got out of town, got away from the traffic. Over and, by the dinosaurs. And got a, got an Austin burger. No. Uh, yeah, not quite to the no, dinosaurs. Not quite, so it's was right before Cabazon, because I think the dinosaurs are in Cabazon. Like I said, it was yeah. right before. It was like Carla Mita or Carla yeah. Mita. Carla Mesa. Carla Mesa. Carla Mesa, yeah. Because yeah, Siri pronounced it wrong. She's like, yeah. Carla Mesa. I'm like, no. I always, no. I always love that. Nope. My wife puts the British dude. No. Uh, Syrian or the South African. I can't remember which one it is. Yeah. Uh, but I love listening to them pronounce like the Spanish words of all the streets down here. It's it's me because like I he always says like turn left on Guadeloupe. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Guadeloupe. Guadeloupe. Oh, or, la La Mesa. Yeah. Like, <laughs> la Mesa. It's like I love listening to British people speak oh, Spanish so, words. So, uh, Larry, I think that was your very first Bob's Big Boy Burger, right? I think so. I might have been there when I was a kid. I don't, I don't remember, but uh, it's been so long that I, I've got foggy memory, if anything. I kind of remember the Big Boy statue out front, so... Uh, I think everyone remembers that. that. I don't know if I've ever been to a big right. boy, but I have distinct memories of like being in front of one of the statues. Yeah. So maybe same thing. Like so, when you were really little, maybe there was still there was around. One. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know, man. Yeah. But so. It was delicious. I'm looking forward to our next trip to the LA area so we can get some more big boy. Or yeah. San Diego so we can all get hammered. Is there one in San Diego too? Oh, I don't know if there's a big boy. I'm just saying, just let's all go out to bars. Hammered? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we'll, turn this, we'll turn this food blog aspect <laughs> into a drink blog aspect. Hey, it's it's a multifaceted blog aspect, <laughs> podcast aspect. Uh, it's a podcast, brewcast. That's my Ooh. favorite. That's my favorite Instagram Trademark. pod. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure there's already somebody that's got that. That's pretty brewcast. A brewcast. Sts guys brewcast dot com. So that's cool. So all in all, that was a pretty. Uh, it was a pretty successful lucrative. Venture. It was yeah, a rad trip. Yeah, pretty awesome trip. Like any road trip, though, we had some awesome conversation on the way there and on the way back. Yes. Um, Scott knows this. We've been we we one of our most Ooh. successful videos on YouTube is the eBay mystery box. Yes. Um, so we've been talking that we want to pick up another mystery box, but this time and we're it's... gonna let Scott open it. Yes. Yeah. And. Uh, it's been surprisingly hard to find one. It's, it's been really yeah. hard. eBay is cracking down. And on the, the second you boxes. start bidding on it, like they'll just the listings will disappear. Well, and we know that whatever we get, it's going to be complete crap. So like I said, this is yeah, the, we're not the, expecting. This isn't, this isn't to promote buying eBay mystery boxes. We we know we're going to get garbage. It's almost the opposite. We're trying to prove like yeah. this is what you're going to get if you buy a real one. Don't like, do it. Those people are like, look at these thousand dollar headphones. Yeah, no. they 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 put that shit in yeah. there. There are like, no it's, there are no thousand dollar ebay mystery boxes that someone is actually paying a thousand dollars yeah it's fake. no it's they, all fake they don't exist ours was real a hundred percent because you paid five dollars for it yeah and ten plus, shipping plus ten dollars shipping so fifteen dollars shipped yeah um well, but like, like i said it, it, like larry got entranced by like i said the image they used which was a very awesome image yeah like I said, that image that they used was amazing. The little, it's the yellow box with all the little, the question marks yeah. on it. Yeah. Thing. yeah. Like, so they took the time to, to make that, right? Took some arts and craft skills, yeah. but, uh, someone's, someone's a bit crafty. But anyway, so like I've been watching them for at least like two weeks, right? Every time, uh, if they're, if they're auction style, when, when it comes up for the auction to end, I click on it and I get the notification. This listing has been removed by eBay. This listing has been removed by eBay. 
Um, so I've been looking and looking like it seems like the only way to get one is to grab one that's just listed with a buy it now. I just haven't found the right one yet. So I was getting kind of frustrated, right? Because all these auctions I was watching that I kind of liked was like, ooh, this one might be good by the description or the picture. Um, they, they just keep getting taken away from me. So I was getting creative the other day when I, I had a couple of minutes. Um, I noticed when I, you know, sometimes when you search on eBay, they're like, oh, you might also be interested in this item. Um, I found some grab bags. Like people, like I'm grab bag. That's kind of like a mystery it's a mi box. That's so a, that's basically. So I started a mystery searching thing. up uh, like grab bag or like mystery item, and it led me like the the category that these mystery boxes end up getting listed in is weird stuff. Uh, so I ended up oh. like, hey, what happens if I just search weird stuff? That you find weird that stuff. Awesome. You find weird stuff. <laughs> Right? I so love the, that sort of stuff. So uh, we found everything uh, from like, well, I don't want to spoil it, but uh, there's some there's some good stuff out there. The, the weirdest thing we found, though, was a fart in a jar. <laughs> <laughs> for, for I like, can just imagine something like, <laughs> all right, let's, let's get that tighten on the mason jar there. Like. Exactly what it is. Yeah. It's like a mason jar. Well, for just, 40 bucks, a girl will fart in a jar and mail it to I, you. I, I just imagine like a production line. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, so I was just sitting rapid on there, fire. Just rapid, rapid fire, fire. <laughs> and then the next little arm moves another can under there and just right. <laughs> it how, keeps going. How does eBay allow farts in a jar to be sold, but, but you can't sell just box. a regular old mystery First box? First off, there's no proof that there's actually a fart in the jar. Like, you could put whatever it'd be like, it's just spray some Febreze in there and yeah, shut the damn thing, air. right? It's just yeah. air. But Here's the other question I have. What is the half-life of a fart? I don't know. Like, so if you, you tear ass into a jar and seal it, how long is that stank going to be in there before that just becomes a big nothing it's... anymore? Once you click, with, like, if you read some of the descriptions, though, I remember Jeremy. Uh, again, we're driving in the car talking about farts. Um, Jeremy <laughs> I was have reading so many questions. <laughs> Jeremy was reading one of the descriptions. One of, one of the better sellers, right? Power, eBay power seller um, was will uh, do expedited shipping. So you can get it as soon as possible, so it maintains that freshness. Yeah, because oh. well, the, there's a freshness factor. Apparently. What's the expiration date? I don't know, man. You got to get that fast. Crack that open. <laughs> right, so. Is there a Best Buy date that they write to like open this within four days? So I, I, I have a half to the story. So <laughs> as Larry has told me this, I'm like, Mike, Mike, I'm like, that can't be a thing. I'm like, so I'm like, let me. I'm like, there's nothing else to do in the car besides you know talk about eBay mystery boxes and partner jars. So like, let me pull it up on my phone. So I start looking. I'm like, I'm like, sure enough. Like people are selling farts in a jar. I'm like, I'm like this is amazing. I'm like, I, I can't believe people actually between twenty and forty dollars. Yeah. And oh, there's, I will fart in a jar for like a dollar if you want. <laughs> like, if you check the sold, uh, you know, if you check the completed and sold uh, listings, th somebody's buying these. Two. Yeah, like forty bucks, man. Yeah, that's it's crazy. So I start just laughing and dying at some of these descriptions. Some of these descriptions are amazing. Like sealed for freshness, you know, rush shipping. Um, this one basically won't send it out until you email them because they basically, you basically get to customize their menu of how you want the scent, you know, enhanced with oh, what flavor. Oh, so you can make a scent profile. Yeah. Gross. I yeah. want a little bit of broccoli. Yeah, so, you know, I want, I want some, like, you know, some chicken. I want like, Panda Express with a Whopper chaser, you yeah. know. <laughs> Gross. Like just find the most greasy, yeah. you know, pizza that you can eat. That get that pizza grease it, it, in there. It takes a weird turn too. Like I said, some of them come with bonus items like panties. Like it's just it's it's is it the the, the, the is that used as the filter and they send you the filter with it? Like what? I don't I don't know. I don't know. If anyone has purchased <laughs> a fart in a jar, please let us know in the comments e below. Scott at yeah. STSGuys.com, please email me if you have ever received one of these, because I have so many questions you know about this. You can be anonymous. If you would like Scott to unbox a fart in the jar. Send me a fart in a jar. Please. <laughs> you can find our address on our website, STSGuys.com. STSGuys.com, there's an address. Please Put it you. to STSGuys. CO my name or CO Jeremy, it'll get to yeah. me. I will unbox on video no, a fart in a jar. Let's, let's make sure it's CO your name. <laughs> yeah, let's put Scott's name yeah. on, please. Because like I said, let me let me tell you the other half of the story. <laughs> so <laughs> Scott's I'm dying over here. I just imagine just one day showing up and in the thing is a jar with a fart in it. <laughs> so So We knew you would appreciate this. This is amazing. Let, let's fast forward a day. Um, so oh no, let's, let's fast forward two days. So that's for two days. And so 
I said, I looked on my eBay account with, with you know, rearing the Farson jar. And so, you know how every now and again, you said you'll get those recommendations from eBay saying, hey, you know what? An item you you were looking at is ending soon, even if you don't watch it. Yeah, it's like the it's like when you click on something on Amazon yeah. and, and they like to send you the reminder email. Hey, yeah. sure you don't want this right. weird it's, thing you clicked on? We, we just dropped the price five bucks. Yeah, yeah, maybe you might stuff. want yeah. it again. Uh, now. eBay does that yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, basically recommended, recommended. Purchases. Yeah, the eBay where they're just like, hey, that this, you have like, three hours before yeah. this you know bidding ends yeah. so um, i'm gonna, gonna drop this note on you guys listen well you can know exactly where this is going so me and my wife share an ebay account oh no oh. <laughs> so <laughs> so i get i thought i had questions yeah so i'm at work i said I'm, I'm literally sitting down you know doing my work and I get this text message from my wife, and I'm like, I'm like, okay. I'm like, well, I'm like, she's like, well, first of all, you know, me and my wife have like a like a, a banter back and forth relationship where we we're super friendly one towards another, or I never get the formalized like questions. So I get this text message saying, "Hey, do you mind if I ask you a question?" I'm like, "That's never good." I'm like, no, I'm like what, right? is, "What is that? I'm what like, did I do?" I'm like, "Well, and I'm thinking back. I'm like, I haven't done anything stupid." So I'm like, yeah. I'm "Like, oh, so I'm, I'm in the clear." So I'm like, "Yeah, sure. Yeah, you can ask is a she question." An, is she an oracle? Is she figuring out what I'm going to do later today? Yeah. Exactly. So I'm like, "I'm like, sure. You can ask I haven't done anything stupid. I'm good." Um, so she's like, um, "Why are you researching oh. fart in a jar?" Oh. <laughs> because she got the email with the recommendation that you she might be interested in a fart in a jar. No, 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 you might be interested in a fart with a pair of panties. And she's she's like. Do we have to talk? Yeah. <laughs> I literally started dying laughing, and you then know, I'm like, I'm like Larry, I'm yeah. like, I'm like, you gotta, I'm like, you, you gotta hear Knowing this. Knowing your wife, all you would have to say was, "I was looking at it to buy it for Scott," and she'd have just been like, "Yeah, yeah okay." Yeah. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, um, so I'm like, I had to, I show, I get up and immediately start laughing. I show Larry, like I said, this this string of text messages, basically this, this conversation back and forth between my wife and basically how I'm not into fart in jars, and I was, <laughs> it was for research purposes. It was for was, the podcast. It's for the podcast, honey. I don't actually like farts in a jar. Yeah, it was. You bid on three of them. Yeah. I was, it was. <laughs> <laughs> So sdsguys.com about us page. Yeah. No, uh, contact us. Contact us page. That's has the address. Yeah, contact us. Man, there's some weird stuff out there. I, I like again, how is that okay but mystery boxes isn't? Because I, at least like that eBay you know sh- what you're getting. No, eBay right? shuts that down. <laughs> well, so eBay shutting down the mystery box because they're saying there could be cool stuff, but then they can send crap. Yeah. The fart in the jar, you're buying crap. You know that there's crap so, in there. Well, like, you're, literally. You're <laughs> literally getting poop articles yeah. in a jar. Here, here's what I have a concern about, though, guys. So yeah. so if, if someone actually does send us the fart in the jar and we post this unboxing on YouTube, would YouTube remove it? Because they've been removing uh, Tide Pod videos. Exactly. Yeah. YouTube's cr- like eBay's cracking down on Mr. Bucks. YouTube's crap- cracking down on people eating Tide Pods. Scott, have you ever considered eating a Tide Pod? You know, you know, yeah, every day of my life when I'm doing laundry, I take a look at that yummy, delicious little wad of gelatinous goo and think, yeah, I want to eat that. Uh-huh. Like, no, like you have to be like, are these kids that like, Never cursed in front of their parents and had their mouths washed out with soap. Maybe it's because oh. I've had that tons of times right? to the point where I'm like, dude, that soap ain't going that's, anywhere near my yeah, house. Funny. Soap, soap is icky. I've yeah. said dirty words too much as a child. I still do. Yeah. Kids, but are no washing, <laughs> kids are washing their own mouths out yeah. now. That's, that's like, funny. Like, I still say dirty words. No one washes my mouth with soap anymore, though. Like yeah, like no. that's... Well, ruin soap for me in so terms of like anywhere. Hopefully, they said that their moms and dads are actually buying these Tide Pods, you know, for normal purposes, and the kids aren't going out and buying them themselves because Tide Pods are expensive. Dude, I'm like, you can buy right. candy for a dollar. Yeah, you can buy anything else. So that's like seventeen dollars. The, thing, the thing is, like twenty bucks yeah. for Tide Pods. Yeah, but you like know the what? ones that they're eating are the oh, Tide Pods. Yeah. I'm not going to get the Costco one that's just one little single color packet. No, like, no. they're not cheap for the. No, the, they're the doing pack. the one that has like the the little fabric softener swirl and the stain remover. It's, it's like the yin and yang of laundry. Yeah. Yes, that's exactly what it is, right? The blue yang and the orange yang. Uh, but yeah, I guess kids were, at least for a little while before YouTube cracked down, they were going viral, right? They're getting all these views from eating these Tide Pods, but they're poisonous and they make yeah. you sick. So so that was a problem, like, apparently, like, a couple years ago, because I remember this specifically because it came up. When they first came out, When they first came out, kids were, people were, like, accidentally, kid, little like, kids. Like, baby, like, little like, kids like, toddlers and stuff it. because it was, like, candy. Yeah. So, Tide Pod, like, Tide was, like, okay, we're going to put this, like, chemical that tastes 
nasty in there and basically like will like bittering agent, right? it's yeah. like a bittering agent but it, in bur- it, it induces like burning and like vomiting i can confirm they do not taste very good <laughs> i mean we did Mary? sds guys disclaimer don't eat tide pods don't be like me do you have something to, do you want to tell us i didn't eat it but i licked it <laughs> Just doing laundry, just I, going like, huh, that's exactly I, how I, I, I have to figure out what this goes no, from no, no, now. Larry was tied curious. I was, <laughs> he was tied, tied curious. I was tied curious. <laughs> See, that's why it keeps going viral. I know. Because like, you're like, other people are doing it. You're like, I wonder. They smell good. You're like, just like. It smells like grandma's laundry. They smell so you, good. You, you, you're looking like, blah, 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 They blah. taste <laughs> awful. Like, I don't know how you would actually put the whole thing in your mouth and like Bite try down. to chew. Yeah, like. Just, just that one little taste was enough for me, and I was done. Kids, yeah. don't, don't lick the Tide Pods. It's bad. I do, I, I've had it where like I do laundry, but like not the Tide Pod, but like actually no, it was a Tide Pod because it like got stuck in my my washer, so I had to like open it up and like kind of put the soap back into the washer because it oh, was yeah. like it was just getting going straight down the drain. Yeah. So it's like shit. I gotta get the soap into where the laundry is, right? And then like fully washed off my hands and like an hour later just like touched my mouth i was like ah, ah, yeah. wow <laughs> like that's the worst taste i've ever had in my life well then i said <laughs> then i got on the fact of i'm like okay so i'm like i gotta see this ha- i gotta i gotta see someone yeah. actually well here here's how it went down is we, we were we were checking our youtube channel right watching the videos and the other channels that we subscribe to um and we found epinine epi she she did a tide pod video but it was just a fake out Right, she's like Tide Pod Challenge. Click here, and Epi, you faked us out, man. Like it, it, it she's like, don't eat them. It was just a disclaimer to yeah, not eat like, them. And then, so, and then that then. made me and Jeremy more curious about how we can find somebody eating a Tide Pod. So then I want to see one really no. happening. I wanted to see. So it. then we saw. It's, this, called, it's called going on live leak. No, so, so then we saw this 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 family, this thumbnail of this family, like. T- Family takes a Tide yeah. Pod challenge with like a two year old like and like two-year-old. a six year old. I'm like, oh, they're gonna get that. Like, all right, here we go. Shit. This is it. I'm like, I'm like, we're getting, the, we're getting the entire family at home. This, yep. this is amazing. So this is it. Total fake out. Fake Basically, out. the family makes ice cream Tide Pods. Yeah, it was weird. So a place that we go to yes. regularly, uh, Hertz Donuts, have a Tide Pod donut. We got to go get it. Yes. There's a donut and they put we the icing as we gotta the... We got to do the Tide Pod challenge. Yeah, we got to yeah. do the Tide Pod donut challenge. Yeah. We'll make, we got to make a video. Yeah, so I, I, I saw that... I don't know if the, our local one, but somebody posted online that Hertz has the Tide Pod donut. They had one in like Kentucky or something like yeah. that. I saw that. Yeah. They made a, a little thing of the, the Tide Pod thing. <laughs> Ew. So we can do... We can... I'll, I'll eat a donut that looks like a Tide Pod. Doesn't or like Lord Somebody needs to make like a... a, a Candy. That's I think Melanie. Like, yeah. Mel- Does, doesn't Sid Lord Melanie live in Kentucky? I think Melanie, Melanie, go get us a donut. Send yeah. it to us. Go get us a, or do the Tide Pod challenge. Do the Tide Pod donut just challenge. Do a video. Send us it. <laughs> we'll, we'll repost it. I promise. Yeah. yeah. We'll get I, you, we'll get you viral. Yeah. <laughs> well, ew. Sounds dirty. <laughs> yeah. That not that, in that way. <laughs> I'll moving give, on. I'll give you herpes. You're like no. <laughs> uh, awkward side tangent. But. Yeah. Don't eat Tide Pods, kids. Don't eat Tide Pods. It's According bad. to Larry, it's because they actually do taste they gross. They taste bad. Listen to Larry. Hashtag I love Larry. All right. So on to some more relevant news. Um, relevant? So, uh, nothing's more relevant than Farts Under Jar and Tide Pods. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, was, I don't know how I so can... What do you mean? We've been on like, some weird I, tangent I, I, I have boring, shit. I have, for... bo- I have boring stuff to talk about now. This might be the weirdest episode ever <laughs> of, of the SDS guys. We had like a 10-minute conversation about farting in a jar. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's going to be the weirdest episode. <laughs> So we go from Funko, so basically yeah. highlights. Funko movie to fart in a jar. <laughs> to, to Tide Pods. To eating soap. Yeah. Hey, at least we're going in alphabetical order, you know? I'm like, come yeah. on. Um, so uh, just going to let everybody know about some new content that has dropped from the STS guys. Uh, if you may have noticed, we've dropped a ton of videos uh, this week. So Scott already mentioned one of them. Uh, we did an unboxing of the Director Freddy box, uh, the, the box and fun from uh, the Funko movie premiere. So we got that out. Uh, we also have out, uh, Nate got in uh, his Deathstroke yeah. figure. So we got the unboxing of that. That the figure Mezco. is awesome too, by the way. Check it out. That thing is amazing. I don't know if you realize this, Jeremy, but I believe you dropped our first Hump Day autographs video. Ooh. A la, is it Hoosier Nerd? Hoosier Nerd, yeah. yeah. Hoosier Nerd does his autograph. Honestly, like I said I posted it on Wednesday. I know. By, by pure but it was autographs on Wednesday. I think that makes it Hump Day autographs. Hump Day Woo! autographs. So we, we posted a video about all the autographs that we got at Ace Comic Con. Really good stuff in there, um, guys. If really you like comic in... books, go check it out. Yeah, check that video out. Um, we also posted uh, January's Loot Crate. Uh, that's, oh, yeah. That's, that's yeah. Got yeah. Yesterday. Just did that yesterday. 
And then, like, so we also have um, a, cu- a couple of different blog posts that we did too. So we did a couple, we did our blog post for recaps for Ace Comic Con. So if you basically are not in the videos or basically want to see the videos translated into our own individual thoughts, uh, definitely check out the blog uh, on our website, stsdeguys.com. Yeah, you uh, could, Scott wrote a specific one that he points out all the good things about Ace and all the bad all things. All the stuff I liked and all the stuff I didn't yeah. like. So yeah. if you're curious or if it comes or to your town. Or that they could do better, I guess. Yeah, if it comes to your town, you, you want to check that one out so you know exactly what you're getting into. Yeah, absolutely. And then, uh, Larry and I, I said, we, I said on our way to uh, Hollywood, on, on our way uh, right outside of LA in Pomona, I said me and Larry went to the Retro City Festival. Uh, I posted our recap video there along with a couple images uh, that we had, uh, that we had taken. Um, there'll be a video walkthrough, a kind of kind of festival convention walkthrough coming soon, uh, probably sometime this weekend. Um, but like I said, we wanted to make sure that we get that, that right up out there uh, as soon as possible, just that way we could give people our initial thoughts or our warnings about the said festival. Awesome. Um, I've got I've got a couple of things that I need to record still. So you guys like that a lot of mystery minis video I did uh, where I opened up a bunch of Funko Spider Man mystery minis. Well, guess what? Uh, time for part number two. I got a I got a lot of Thor Ragnarok mystery minis uh, for super cheap from GameStop clearance. So uh, I'll be recording that here pretty soon. I got a new T blocks. Uh, you Ooh. guys are not going to want to miss this T blocks. It's going to be amazing. It's you you amazing. want to watch it? L- let's just well, put, and let's our just, band box should be coming. Yeah, here band box is coming. Oh, soon. nice! But with the T blocks, I said, Larry's. You may think he's being sarcastic about you don't want to miss this video. You actually don't want to miss this T blocks video, is because let's just put it this way: I got a an an audio preview of basically what he's going to say on this yeah. T blocks video this morning. I, I need to ask the community a question, and I need your input. So please check out that video when it drops, and and let me know your thoughts. Throw a comment. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah it was like I said, it it made Larry uh, just watch the video. <laughs> it's uh, it, it's it's a it's a talking point. That's for sure. Um, so we so we uh, we've also kind of uh, made some friends along the way too. Um, so we, uh, we had got our, uh, shout out today. We, you know, we were listening to one of our favorite podcasts, the nerd foo, and they actually gave us a shout out uh, yeah. on their podcast. So yes. nerd foo crew, yes. uh, Sully and Steve, thank, thank you, you so much for that. We definitely appreciate it. Yep. And I mentioned it last week, but if you guys do not listen to the nerd foo, you need uh, to, you need to, it's an awesome podcast. Hit them up on iTunes or SoundCloud, hit that sub button. Uh, if you want to listen to the one where they talk about us briefly, it's uh, Season 3, Episode 7, uh, Foo with Friends, Twitter Friends. They basically do a Twitter Q&A. Uh, you can learn more about them, ask them questions. Really good guys. Uh, please go check that out. Um, also, if you like Funko, um, check out Sully and the Funko Funcast too. It's the best hour and a half of your week if you, if you sub and start listening to that. No. Not us. Are we it's like, the are best we... hour and a half of your week. <laughs> They don't talk about parts, parts in a jar. jar, at least not yet. If you want to send them a question, Scott, they, they answer uh, questions. The, I'll, I'll send like two questions and I'll be like, no more from that guy. Yeah. You're so cut off. when is the, the, the mason jar pot coming? <laughs> is it scented? Yeah. <laughs> the scented mason it's the, jar It's glow in the dark. When you shut it off, you can see the fart floating around in there. They have like ghost in the jar, right? From Rick and Morty. Yeah. Same ghost, idea. Yeah. yeah. Same but it's idea. like you make it a little bit bigger, you know? Yeah. Like a customized box. Um, so yeah, yeah listen to those guys. Um, listen to Bing Chen and Mike. Um, they have a really great podcast too. They're going to be talking. Uh, they did one on Monday where they talked about uh, the show at the Scum and Villainy Cantina that we went to. And then I know their next podcast was going to talk about the Making Fun premiere too. So if you enjoyed hearing us talk about it and you want to learn more, um, check out that podcast. It's podcast. 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 In order to podcast, guys, you got to be able to talk. Check out that podcast too. Um, it's really awesome. Megan and Mike from AMC's Comic Book Men. Um, Comic Book Men comes back in about a month too. And they should yeah. have an episode from uh, Ming was saying there's one from Funko HQ when they went up there for the grand opening. So yeah, that be awesome yeah, too. There was a, there was a clip actually in the movie of there them was. actually sitting down, actually talking with Barmy Arati about right. about Funko. Yeah, but so. behind the scenes clip. So it looks oh. like it's going to be awesome. You can learn more cool. about Funko history and all that good stuff. Plus, you get to hang out with me, and Mike, and Brian. Yeah, awesome, awesome guys. Because we had we had we definitely had fun. Well, that like I said, we we talked about it on on our last podcast too. But I said the they they brought their own photos and then they, they autographed for us for free. Looking at you, Daniel Pasina, like I said from Retro City <laughs> Festival, uh, twenty dollars. No, our friend Ming hooked us up yeah thank you ming thanks man Again, you're amazing. awesome i didn't get anything but thank you ming <laughs> you got his his unaffectionate love 
You I did. did. He, I did in Tucson. He has so. an STS guy's pin. Yeah. He has a sticker that I gave him too. Yeah. Awesome. In Tucson. Yeah, he's got, yeah. He has yeah. one of the world's largest collections of STS, STS guy's memorabilia. That's not an STS guy exactly. or spouse slash yeah, so friend. Worker, BFF. Yeah. Co-worker friend, friend, friend of the podcast. Yeah. Um, so like I said, we talked about, we've talked about our website a, a lot on here. Like I said, d- d- definitely check us out because we, we post stuff all the time on all sorts of different mediums. STSguys.com, yo. STSguys.com. We're on Twitter at STSguys. Uh, we're pretty active on Instagram as well at STSguys. Our Instagram is on fire. We were probably, most, mostly because we did two really cool things the past two weekends, right? But if you want to see, come see all the pictures from our adventures at Ace Comic Con and in Hollywood and California, go uh, go follow us at, at STSguys. Well, that too, like I said, and if, like I said, if you live, like I said, in, in the Phoenix area and then there's like an, an event that that's Really interesting thing we should be that to. we should be at. Yeah. Definitely, you know, drop us a line, let us know. I so said we can we can definitely make the trip out. We have, yeah. a, we have a really easy email to remember. It's just contact at stsguys.com. Or if you just remember any one of our names, like Scott at Jeremy at each of us have a an address there. So shoot us an email. Let us know, like, hey, you guys should come to this you know this comic book store. They're doing this event or something like that. Let us know, and you know we'll try to make it out there. Yeah. Uh, I heard uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles creator Kevin Eastman's coming to town next month. Yeah. Right? At Jesse James. Yeah, so, just uh, Jesse James Comics. If you guys are in the area, we'll be there. Come hang out, take some pictures, maybe sign some autographs. Yeah, I'll have some STS guy swag to hand out. Maybe yeah, some, we'll possibly some, some other prizes as well. Some stickers or something. Like, I, just want, I, have, I have tons of stickers, so when I'm, I'll be there. I just so want I'll be someone, handing them out. I just want someone to ask for my autograph. Larry, can, can I have your, I autograph? Have your oh, autograph? Yes. God, that was so rewarding <laughs> and so fast. That's like instant gratification. Well, I said once we do, I need I need you to sign your autograph on this. Uh, no, know, put that jar away, <laughs> Scott. This jar on this uh, restraining order, yeah. please. <laughs> so, let's say that we've we've uh, we've like I said we've shown up in a couple of uh, a couple photos. Like I said, Larry, uh, like I said, Larry with his thumbnail this week is going to be highlighted, so you'll know what Larry looks like. Oh, maybe right. for a couple of video, other videos as well. Scott's been highlighted on, on a thumbnail as well, so that way you can see you know all the rest of our ugly mugs. We're also going to be doing a photo shoot pretty soon, and having our pictures on the website. Well, you but can also look at the put, CW6 Phoenix. Uh, CW6 Phoenix. Uh, they all. Uh, Four out of five of us. Four were out of in five. Yes, yes, guys are, are actually on that. Yeah, and that black lightning photo gallery. And the yeah. black lightning their photo. Where they where they were photoshopping the person in, but there was too many of us, and they couldn't put the character in yeah. the video. Show, in the picture with it's us. not a good show anyway. Who cares? Yeah. yeah. On the next SDS guys podcast, discussing black lightning. <laughs> yeah. I think we need to. Yeah, no, that, that'll be next week. Um, I said we'll we'll talk about Black Lightning. I said we, we'll also talk about the return of the other CW shows as well because like I said we had the trial of Barry Allen come back, yeah. and like I said, it's, it's, it's all kind of like we've sorry. got some stuff to talk uh, about for that. I've got another idea that Jeremy and I talked about. I, I know Scott and I have talked about it before too. Um, really soon, we want to do a ranking of our top ten favorite uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe movies. Um, if you're listening and you'd like to send us our send us your list. Uh, I'd be happy to, to to look at that over, and, and we can bring it up on the podcast too, right? Yeah. We'll talk about our favorite movies, but we'd love to talk about your favorite Which movies one, too. How what their what their yeah. rankings Tell, are? Just send and me then your maybe top five, maybe man. we can make a aggregate score to say like, all right, this one that would be rad. Yeah. yeah. Oh God, data collection. Yeah. <laughs> We're not good at that. Uh, no, no um, none of us are really that great at that. So then the last thing I just kind of want to lay off with is, like I said, we are going to be launching another giveaway here. Uh, <gasps> giveaway? Giveaway with, within the next week. What kind of giveaway are we going to do, Jeremy? We are celebrating basically the art of cosplay. So oh. so super mega cosplay giveaway? Did Wait, you say super mega cosplay giveaway? I think you just said the super mega cosplay giveaway. I did say super mega cosplay giveaway. And it's coming soon and it's going to be awesome. Um, There are a bounty i would just say of items in that giveaway i think there's going to be what one rock candy no two rock candies no three rock candies from funko no four rock candy figures Mm, try again five rock candies that's closer to it yeah so there's gonna be five rock candies um, Damn. like such famous marvel names like gamora I think there's an Enchantress. Mystique. Mystique. Uh, Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. She's from been all over the news yeah, right now. Yeah, they have set photos. Yeah. yeah. So five awesome figures. 
Um, like it needs something more though. What, what else do you think we could throw in? Uh, so when we were at Ace Comic Con, we met uh, the lovely Alina Masquerade, friend there. of the podcast, friend Alina the pod- Masquerade. Yeah. yeah, so she she very, was there. Very nice person. Yeah, she's super super sweet. Um, we did pick up a print from her, so that will be included as well. Awesome, autographed print. Autographed print, and then we also have uh, a, another cosplayer uh, as part of that uh, print as well, right? Uh, one of my friends from Instagram for the last couple of years, Steffi Monster. Uh, got a got a print ordered up from from her as well, so we'll throw that in autographed, I believe. Uh, hasn't shown up yet, so as soon as that shows up, we're gonna drop the video. I, I, Jeremy, that's kind of cool. Five five rock candies, two autographs. Yeah, is that super mega enough for the SDS guys I, though? I'm gonna say not super mega enough. Yeah, there's there's a couple item other we items have to in there. Star well. Wars one. So we have um, a couple like bottle openers, some some basically DC bombshell bottle openers uh, nice. that are in there, and there'll be a, a few other items in there as so well. So well over like it sounds like we got almost ten items yeah. for this super mega cosplay giveaway. Jeremy's going to record a video here real quick so you guys can see exactly what there is. Uh, we'll give you all the details how to enter. But spoiler, you're going to head to stsguys.fun. You're going to enter that Gleam thing. Um, follow us on YouTube, that Twitter, was, all that good stuff. And we'll get big, you entered. We're big fans of that Gleam. That that worked really well for us for the, the yep. Star Wars There's going to be daily entries so you can check back every day. Again, all the details coming real soon on the SCS Guys YouTube channel. Yeah, so we'll do, we'll do an announcement video for that, and then, like I said, we'll let you know exactly when that's launched. You'll see exactly what's in that package. Yep. And then, like I said, Elena we... and Steffi Monster, awesome cosplayers. You guys are not going to want to miss out on this. Absolutely. Um, I think that wraps it up for this week's episode of the SCS Guys. So, uh, I'm like I said, it's been an amazing week. It's been a busy week. But it's good to be back. Like I said, it's good to be back at the table with you guys. Like I said, it's back been awesome. in the studio. Back in the studio once again. Yeah. So everyone's back together. Yes. Yeah, so for episode 22, I'm Jeremy. I'm Scott. I am Larry. And we're the STS guys. Bye bye.